Hey everybody, so yesterday, um, I got this package from eBay. Uh, I had originally recorded an unboxing video because the box came like this. I mean, it was closed, but like, you know, we got like this. And it was a little crushed. Both this way and this way. This was my, uh, the second biggest, maybe third biggest, uh, lot of stuff I picked up off eBay. I got over 100 comics. All Cerebus or Cerebus related stuff. And I think what it was is yesterday when I was doing my unboxing video, I was kind of just stoked to have the books. I was going through today and I was going to read back and board them. And I'm looking at them. And yesterday I was thinking there was only like five or six that were damaged. But this is, this, the damage is a little bit more extensive than that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I only paid like uh, $9.99 plus shipping for all these books. So, I mean, they're 10 cent comics. You know what I'm saying? Less than 10 cents. But I did pay these people money to ship them to me in a sound condition. So, I don't know. But let's just get to this. I did put them all on order. I did have something... The, the lot included something that I thought was really cool. I mean, it's all cool. It's all service, and I'm a fan. But there was one issue in particular. I'm like, cool. let's just do that one first. This was the one I was stoked to get. This was in the bottom of the box. It was in a bag. And miraculously enough, it appears to be unscathed. But this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 8 the Cerebus. It's really cool. That brown cover. So I'm stoked to have that. Stay. Okay. This is Cerebus Jam number 1. This book appears to be in pretty good shape. This stuff down here, I think this is just the bag. It smells kind of moldy. I don't know what I mean. And A and V, Ard Ardvark Vanaheim in 3D. Got some flaming carrot action. And I don't know if you can see it, but like, this is. This is kind of what we're dealing with. Like you can't. There you go. It's not. It's been crushed. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. There you go. So there's that. But it does contain the 3D glasses, which is always kind of cool. I kind of like the 3D comic thing. I have uh, some of those Alien World, the first um, Arthur Adams. I have an extra one of those. That'll be in my prize box for my contest. But let's get to the rest of the stuff. This is. Cerebus bi-weekly number one. Reprints Cerebus number one. Same thing. Corner. I mean, these books aren't unobtainable. And there's a little, like, you know. This book's been read. But, yeah, it's the reprint of Cerebus number one. Hopefully you did read it. Whoever had these before me. Number two. It doesn't lay flat. And we got right there. Number three. Number four, 
took a hit on both corners. It's folded twice. These books were in the bottom of the box. This kind of slid over. They put packing stuff on two sides. The like the top and the left side of the box. Shoved the comics to one side of the box. So like the newspaper and stuff was packed like here and here. And some of these slid this way it looks like. But yeah. Which one is this? Five. Damaged. This one's probably the worst. Issue six. All right. I'm not gonna be able to show all these, or this video is gonna take forever. But the run starts at issue twenty six. Twenty six looks okay. I'll just go through and find the ones that damaged the most. I mean, a large portion of these made it okay. Like the, the 30s and the 50s, they're all in great shape. But then you have like, I don't know if this was packing or what, but there's some like spine damage on this one. That was 55. You got like the corner thing where the box took the hit. I don't know, that's really showing up. This is pretty bad too. I mean, I'm not like a. I'm not too hung up on grade on some stuff. I just want nice looking books, you know? Like, fine, very fine is fine with me, but. Corners bent, corners bent, corners bent, bent corner. Got, this is like half of them. You can kind of see some of these are messed up. Not, they weren't all boarded, or none of them were boarded. Half of them weren't in bags. It is what it is, but they probably could have put a little bit more effort into packing the box. 71, this is kind of where it, it starts, this corner, and that runs all the way through. All these are damaged. All of the 70s to the 80, 84 are damaged. Eighty-six. <clears throat> I was kind of excited about showing off this huge lot of syrupus I got, but this ends up nineties damaged. Ninety-one is like. Way damaged. Same thing with 92. 93. 95. 96. 97. I mean, they could have put this in a shopping bag. One of those plastic like Walmart bags. And it would have held it all together. 98 is dinged on both corners. 99 is dinged on both corners. 
twelve looks okay. Oops. Damaged, 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 damaged. I don't know. I don't. I'm not sending them back. If they want to give me back some of my money, that would be cool. It's just what's the? Why would you? Why would you do that to them? I mean. I paid for these after they put them in a box. So these are technically my comics. Don't mess with my comics. <laughs> yeah, all of them. Look at that. It is what it is. This was kind of a morose video. Sorry. I got like six entries into my contest. Thanks. I had this really interesting conversation yesterday on uh, Gore Vidal's video between Jared Osborne and Sleepy Reader and Gore Vidal and myself. If you guys haven't watched that video, go check it out. It was like a 17 comment conversation. It was pretty cool. It was interesting. Struck a nerve with somebody and it all got extrapolated on. It was really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.